What is a Wankel engine and how does it work? A Wankel engine is a special type of rotary engine that employs an eccentric motion mechanism to generate power for an automobile. What is a Wankel engine? A Wankel engine is a type of internal combustion engine that produces crank power by rotary motion, rather than reciprocating motion. The engine is named to honor its inventor, Felix Wankel, who came up with this idea when he was only 17 years of age. The design was intended to be a simple and more compact unit with fewer moving parts and more efficiency, while also rotating in a single direction. This was very different to conventional reciprocating engines, which had many moving parts and involved the nearly instantaneous reversal of motion of these parts. Construction of a Wankel engine Any rotational motion that occurs around a point other than the center of the rotating object is known as eccentric motion. A Wankel engine is considered an eccentric motion engine, as rotational forces generated at the crankshaft are due to eccentric motion of the moving parts. 1. Rotor The rotor is the most critical part of a Wankel engine. It is a three-dimensional structure loosely shaped around the Relos triangle, which is an equilateral triangle with slightly rounded sides. The rotor consists of chambers built into the sides to accommodate for combustion. It also has sealing surfaces at the vertices and the face to prevent losses from the leakage of energy generated due to combustion. 2. Housing The housing in which the rotor moves is designed in a roughly elongated oval shape, also known as an epitrochoid. The benefit of such a shape is that all vertices of the rotor remain in contact with the housing at all times. It's also important to note that there is always a small gap between the face of the rotor and the inner surface of the housing. The housing also has holes for the inlet and exhaust ports for the induction and discharge of gases. 3. Output Shaft The output shaft is a key component whose design is critical to the movement of the rotors within the housing during combustion. It is composed of circular lobes that are offset from the axis of the main shaft and fit into the rotor. These circular lobes convert the eccentric motion of the rotors through the pure rotational motion of the output shaft. Working of a Wankel Engine Every engine has a working medium, also known as combustible charge. A combustible charge consists of air and fuel mixed in a specific ratio to achieve optimal combustion. A Wankel engine operates on a thermodynamic cycle known as the Otto cycle. Assuming clockwise rotation of the rotor. 1. Intake, drawing in of charge at atmospheric pressure. As vertex 1 crosses the inlet port, while vertex 2 is still between the inlet and exhaust port, Fresh combustible charge is drawn into the chamber. 2. Compression, reduction of charge volume at constant energy. As vertex 2 crosses the inlet port, the combustible charge between 1 and 2 gets squeezed between the rotor and the housing, thereby resulting in compression. 3. Ignition, heat addition at constant volume. While the charge is being compressed, it is ignited by means of a spark. This results in heat generation at constant volume. Due to this, the pressure in the zone enclosed by 1 and 2 also begins to rise, forcing the rotor to move and ease out. 4. Exhaust, expansion of volume at constant heat. Due to the immense pressure resulting from ignition, the rotor moves to allow for expansion. While 1 and 2 have moved to expand, vertex 3 assumes a position suitable for induction. Meanwhile, the exhaust port between 1 and 2 allows for the expulsion of spent gases, making this a continuous cycle. Applications of a Wankel Engine 1. Motorsports Multirotor Wankel engines have been used in automotive and motorcycle racing with great success in the past. They have been prominently used by manufacturers such as Mazda, Citroën, Rolls-Royce, Norton and Miz. 2. Aviation Due to their high RPM operating capacities and compactness, they are suitable for light aircraft. Wankel engines do not need much time to idle and warm up, so they can consequently reduce waiting times for aircraft during their pre-flight inspection tests. 